taken from a Mayakovsky poem. Um, so if it sounds a bit roving or capricious or intolerant, that's why. It's not me. It's me. Um, it's called a few a few words about myself. I forget that you have to speak into the mic. <laughs> so, all right. A few words about myself. I like to watch dogs choking. Do you detect behind coarse memory the swaying cloak of wry symmetry? But I, in the convent of the streets, have thumb so often through the chatter of trash. Noontime with fiery hands has flummoxed me, and the scattered droning and the whirring cars dolloped in cups of kerosene upon the child's bruised knee. I have seen the devil peer from a mirror and impatience scornfully kiss the lake-swept corner of her pleat. At pictures I pale, coveting the sentiment of sharp glances into the bulging seed of the eye. Moon, mother, mine, if at least thou wouldst have faith and stop smothering me. For my love thou leaped blood down the reverberating void. That is my spirit afield, in the breathless, buckling marsh, against a black horse forest, upon the sunk scapular of the sun. Space, you dolt of a poet. Will you at least redden my cheekbones, through my hair show a little ear, and frame it as a fraud of this era? I am holy as the loneliest ear, singing its way to confession. In this turbulence, you might find your small airplane has plummeted face down into the rush of a noon boat loading like mine. Futureless quilts tangled in the feet of history, as if artifice were forever the means by which we now live. It's not that I don't have hope. That's really all too easy to find. Natural rapture, all islands in color, the seesaw of birds calling off slick stones as the sea foams with floating flowers. That first or last hour when coastal pines rise paralyzed and buried arrowheads plunge into scarlet soil. There's no need to gussy it up though, to sleep through pleasure so it becomes dream. That unanointed void evanescent, evanescing will always be for you if you grieve. A given. A smoke signal waving like a silk scarf out from the busted hull of a shore stricken plane. Its paint chipped wings like knuckle bones, palms ringing the light and warmth like a child panting. That harsh comic, that frail lover, the soft bull in the heather are yet to be discovered. Is our game? The way the tongue wags, like the tops of tall stairs, or the mouths of auctioneers. The way the upper room of blood, sweat, and tear in the seams by which we detect fear. The way an impure mirror considers that supplications rise to a point senseless to fulfill. Sputtering this excess, wherein the great risk transcends us. Like worms we, wait, we lay stolid in the mud, upon our catafalque of quiet dreams. So our uncertain paradox boasts a solid sight. We are feasting as if mendicants, emptying the mute mouth of its merry screams.